Police officers frustrated at being left to look after mentally ill people over the weekend. A perfect storm is brewing in which a dwindling number of police officers are having to do the jobs of mental health professionals and social services when they are not available. The chairman of the county's police federation has warned. Tony Wedden said police officers cannot say no to having the carrying out work from other agencies including the county's mental health trust and social services, who he said had a reputation for leaving police with work at 5 p.m. on a Friday afternoon before going home for the weekend. Mr. Wetton, who represents rank-and-file police officers and those up to chief inspector level, said this was very frustrating for officers who had an increased workload that weekends across Derbyshire with Derby County matches in the nighttime economy. He also said police officers dealing with people with mental health issues was major issue because officers did not have the relevant training and were under-resourced. However, he said sometimes there was nowhere else for the mentally ill to go than in the care of police because of a lack of resources elsewhere. But social services in the city and county and also Derbyshire's Mental Health Trust insisted they had good relationships with police and that they offered 24-7 services. Mr. Wetton said more than 30% of incidents the force deals with are connected to mental health. He said, the problem of social workers signing off for the week just before 5 p.m. and leaving work with police officers is something that is regularly talked about. It's happened for a long time. We cannot say no. We don't go away. We're 24-7. We're always on call in numbers. We're around the clock. It feels at times like we are the service of first resort and people come to us with their problems at times when we have significant challenges and pressures. And at times when we're not the best people to deal with them. Weekends are very busy with a nighttime economy on a Friday and Saturday night. And if Derby County are playing at home, then a significant number of offices will be policing the match and any issues before or after it. Weekends are also a typical time for domestic incidents to occur, as well as all the other crime out there. Officers find it frustrating having to deal with other work left from social services. This involves missing and vulnerable people, but Mr. Wenton said that the police could not say no when called upon. He added, if we did say no something tragic happened then we would be answerable, yet it was passed to us and is not our primary responsibility. That applies for both social services and mental health. They do have out-of-hours provisions but it's not like the structure we have. I don't blame the social workers and mental health professionals on the ground. I think and the feedback I have is they are under-resourced. So are we. That's the problem. Mr. Wedden said the problem had been going on for a number of years. He also warned that the increase in officers having to look after the mentally ill was an accident waiting to happen. Mr. Wedden said cops are not mental health professionals. I have heard a statistic that 15% of work the police does have a mental health element. I believe it's significantly more than that. Probably double. We're arresting people that are mentally unwell when they pose a risk to the community or themselves. That's absolutely right. We're there to protect members of the public. But then we place them in custody, which is the last place they should be. More has to be done to solve this quickly. Somebody like that being in custody can make it worse. A spokesman for Derbyshire County Council said it was disappointed to hear the Federation's comments because it works closely with the police and other agencies to protect vulnerable Derbyshire residents and keep people safe day and night. He said it also offers a 24-hour service but recognized all agencies are facing pressures on their services and great demand on resources. He said, we have an out-of-hours emergency social work team who operate throughout the night and at weekends. Our mental health social workers work closely with colleagues in the NHS and the police in the mental health triage hub at police headquarters in Ripley, providing support for vulnerable people.
Our approved mental health professionals also work with the police if assessments under the Mental Health Act are needed. We have regular discussions with the police around pressures, demands and appropriate responses and our lines of communication are always open. We're constantly working hard with other agencies, including the police, to ensure we work together to protect local people. A spokesman for Derbyshire Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust, which is based at Kingsway in Derby and offers help for people with mental health issues, said a new expanded team of mental health nurses based at the police headquarters in Ripley had been brought in to find the most appropriate health route for people experiencing a mental health crisis. He said the trust was always looking for new and improved ways to work with our police colleagues and added, in recent months we have established two new initiatives to further enhance the work we do within the criminal justice system. Thanks to extra investment from NHS England, we have been able to expand the size of our criminal justice mental health team and can now work with a wider range of vulnerable people including those with learning disabilities or substance misuse problems when they first come into contact with the criminal justice system as suspects. Defendants or offenders, the trust says the team provides a prompt response to concerns raised by the police probation service, youth offending teams or court staff. The spokesman said team members regularly base themselves within police custody suites to offer rapid advice and support to individuals and police officers. He added, this is a seven day a week service and initial feedback about the team from both individuals and the police has been very positive. In addition, we have created an expanded team of mental health nurses based at Police HQ in Ripley called the Mental Health Advice Assessment Hub to help Derbyshire Constabulary Officers and other emergency services staff to find the most appropriate health route for people experiencing a mental health crisis. The new hub, which brings together the former street triage team and the nurses previously working in the 111 call center, is a triage and assessment service that aims to reduce unnecessary admissions to A&E or police custody suites by ensuring people are diverted to the most appropriate mental health service. This is also a seven-day-a-week service with extended hours at the weekend, where the hub believes that an individual is at high risk of harming themselves or others. On account of their mental ill health, they may need the care and security of a psychiatric intensive care unit with locked door facilities and a high ratio of specialist staff to patients. As there is currently no psychiatric intensive care unit in Derby or Derbyshire, our trust staff must contact providers around the country to see if they have a bed available and will accept that individual. This process can take a significant amount of time and it is an issue that we have raised with our commissioners and discussed with organizations signed up to the Derbyshire Crisis Care Concordat. A. Derby City Council spokesman said its social workers do brilliant work across the city, helping vulnerable people and families to resolve challenges they face and empowering them to live their lives as fully and independently as possible. He said, partnership working is essential in ensuring vulnerable people are properly supported. He added, we work with a variety of partners from healthcare professionals to third sector organizations and, of course, the police. We all have a part to play in supporting those who need help and where we are unable to offer support. We will always signpost to a relevant service. The council operates an out-of-hours social work service available 24-7 over the weekend. And many other services also operate out-of-hours, for example, the Youth Offending Service and the council's hospital discharge service. The statutory approved mental health service is available 24-7 at weekends, as is the appropriate adult service for vulnerable children and adults in police custody. Thank you for listening to Freedom Fighter. A link to this story is in the description bar below. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you.